Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the morning show. Sydney for Elton Jones is my person, Art of Butte. And today we are starting with our political interviews. And this morning, as first guest, we have Mr. Cornelius Marx, candidate number 18 on the up list. And good morning, Mr. Marx. Good morning, everyone, and a happy new year for those people I forgot to wish a happy new year. Happy new year to yeah. you also. Uh, Mr. Marx, uh, I see you're contesting the election that is coming on for on the 9th of, of January. Knowing you as an ex-prosecutor and now as a lawyer working, um, it's sometimes uh, very understanding that you see a person like you of your stature just jump in in the political arena. Can you really explain to our uh, listeners and, 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 and viewers why yeah. a person of you yeah, yeah. of your stage um, that decide to do that. Yeah, yeah. I made 70 in October, the 11th of October. Mm -hmm. And I intended to, um, to have my office accompanied by another lawyer mm. so that I can slow down my um, legal cases. Not slow down, but uh, slow down working for myself. Yeah. But all of a sudden, it came up that um, uh, Parliament needs a lawyer. I've been approached by several people. I look at the platforms and I made a choice and I choose for the um, UP slate. Yeah. The, the most comfortable uh, where I am now because it gives me the possibility to have a different opinion within the platform. We stay in the platform but um, if you if you if you have um, uh, not always the common sense with, uh, with uh, the party about marijuana, for instance, yeah. something like that, you have the possibility to have a different opinion. The other parties have to say what the party leader is saying. And I'm too old, you know, I, you cannot you cannot learn uh, old dog's new tricks. No. <laughs> it's not possible. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I notice uh, and, and listening to you, you, know, you, you are aware or you you have seen that most in the last, especially the last four years, a lot of legislation have been brought forward to to um, Parliament, and they are, they have a lot to do with judicial affairs or ju that have to do with the justice system. Yeah. And you, one of the things that I notice personally that a lot of members of Parliament did not comprehend these laws that have been put forward. Because yeah. because a lot of time you see the they say something today, say something tomorrow, and lack of of person with legal background in their maybe political structure of their party that cannot explain them how important it is to have people of that 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 that, that level in parliament. Well, it's uh, first of all I am going parliament as court max. And uh, another beneficial thing is I'm a lawyer. Not everyone is a lawyer. Not yeah. everyone goes as a lawyer in Parliament, especially not in St. Martin. The common people who have something to say, something to do for the country, they go in Parliament. Um, I have seen, indeed, since 2010, we only had new laws, more or less for 90% in the criminal atmosphere. Um, is that good or is that not good? I don't know because international, we are part since 2010, part of the international organization. We are part of the, um, uh, of the human rights organization. So we have to change our uh, point blanche. We have to change the police cells according to the standard in Europe. Yeah. And, um, but what I'm surprised of is that the, the pensioners, the pensioners, that is, um, that is a group of people who built St. Martin. Yeah. That is a group of people who voted for the last 10 years. Yeah. And now the question is, how much they got on their wage per month in the last 10 years? I tell you nothing. Yeah. And nothing because in 2000 because it is indicated in St. Martin on the price index. Well, let me say most countries have the price index as a reference yeah. to uh, come up with um, a bit of percentage for the cost of living. But 
In St. Martin, you need not finish Milton Peters to see that prices went up after hurricane. If you go to Coleman, and it's not because this Coleman could be ace also, and you want to buy a piece of wood, it's double the price as it was before. Yeah. But double the price for me, but also double the price for the pensioners. And do not forget that um, the pensioners in 2018 got... Um, a, a price index for 1.5 percent. Um, so it would say from um, 2018 every month they should get 1.5 percent. But the asset fee, who is responsible for payment, because if you're talking about the asset fee and the pensioners, it's part of uh, the disabled people, the widowers, um, uh, the pensioners. Yeah. That's a category we have to take care for. That's mm -hmm. why we pay our um, our social premiums for. Why? Why? These people do not get the one and a half percent. They work so hard. They are the, their bones are not are, are, are totally burned down of the heat and picking the salt. Why do not we give them the one and a half percent? And I tell you, I'm so furious because the medical center uh, found found out that they uh, need an increase of the of the rates for the uh, for the treatment mm. and they got permission from the same parliament do not blame me do not blame the other people and blame parliament they agreed that um, the Samata medical center could raise up the prices with 43.8 percent yeah. let's say let's say for the common people 45 percent that's easy to understand mm -hmm. is it not possible is it really not possible to take five percent off and give that to the pensioners and do you think that the medical center would cry if they do not get the 45 percent instead uh, of that 40 percent do you think do you really think it but you do not realize how many people suffering not getting an uh, update on what we have in the law, in the lands for ordering, that it has to be paid. I see, I saw in the, in the newspaper that um, the minister of VSA now, I think it's because uh, it is election time, everyone want to score now to make sure that they got as much as possible voters, but she is working with the working permits again. But the working permits and I had that discussion in the late night show. They people do not know what they're talking about. The work permits is a permit that you need if you are not local from St. Martin. Yes. And I found out with the other party leaders that they think that everyone in St. Martin need a working permit. That is not true. Everyone in St. Martin should be registered at the labor if he has no job. But if a job is available, Every country, every civilized country should give preference to their own people. But if the minister of VSA is coming up with a stunt that she wants to refuse the, the, the working the permit, permits, yeah. it's a stunt because she cannot explain it. And on the other hand, she is talking about um, the reorganizing the roof repair. Uh, wait a minute, Minister. You are in Parliament now for two months and we have roofs leaking since two years. Why you come up with this? Now, one, two, three, four days for the elections. Did you never listen to the platform, to the poverty platform? Did you never had a meeting with the unions, with the people who really have a leaking roof? And these people can tell you exactly how many houses are leaking and why the program is not working. But stop, stop making nonsense like uh, uh, just before the elections. And I hope that the people do not go in that trap. Be realistic. Um, if it is two years and you have done nothing, do not come two days before the election time with a, with a plan. And the plan, what you have with the working permit, is not realistic also because she mixing up the working permit with the labor agreement because the, the the interviewer on the show said well mr max but we have a lot of people working in the casinos with a two months contract or three months contract and that for three times i told them again and again 
That is a labor thing. That has nothing to do with work permit. And if you have a labor issue, you go to the court. And if you have a work permit issue, you go to the minister. Please keep it separated and be clear if you explain these things to the people. Do not use big words, but explain to the people a working permit is not for us. It's for people who want to come and work here. What do you think now, speaking on, 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 on the issue of sh um, the short-term labor contract? Yeah. What do you think, how do you think we can get this um, um, organized in a way that the abuse is no more by employers? But well, I have to be realistic with you and say it very clearly. We live in an economy where you will be needing people for short term. Yeah. You, you cannot, let's say, get rid of it completely. Yes. You know, but how can we organize it that is not being abused? Well, uh, to be not what is what is it, what what is, uh, what is, what is, Mr. Carmex as a candidate have in mind. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, to make sure that it is not be abused, as I told you before, if you have a three times contract and it will not be continued, go to the judge and the judge will um, dissolve the agreement. What happened is, and that I, that's what I see from my practice as a lawyer, uh, a company has 10 NVs. And then you have a contract for three times, for, uh, mm, for three times a short period by uh, company A, and then you go with three times term to company B. And I had a case which, uh, from an, uh, from an uh, employer who was a victim of these practices. I went to court and we won the case and the judge said, listen, listen, listen. I looked through it. It's the same company. It's the same person. It's the same activities. And then, uh, but that is what I wanted to say. Yeah. That's a labor issue. A yeah, labor yeah. issue, you should have um, and go to court to finish it. The working permit is something we have regularly regulated already. We have, for instance, the prostitutes, that the girls working in the, in, in in the adult yeah. sector, yeah. Yeah. they have contracts for no longer than six months. So, six months, one term, and they are not allowed to come back for a certain period. We also have regulated working permits for uh, construction workers. Yeah. And the construction workers are allowed to be here as long as a project is, is, yeah. is, uh, is, is, is done. It's going on, yes. I look, for instance, at the Maho. They have a project and they have uh, foreign workers. But when that is over, and you cannot get uh, local workers at that time, when that is over, these people have to go back and yeah. our own people should get a priority again. Yeah. That is the, it, it is regulated in the law. Um, uh, also for the for the gardener, it is regulated. Also for the gardener and um, uh, living inmate, we have some special rules for them. That's a category who needed it most because that's the category who is probably being abused. But we have it in the law, the landsverordening toelating uitzetting, um, the the the. Uh, how you call it? It's um, the the legislation for uh, to come yes, and, yes, and, and yes, an expulsion, yeah, an yeah. extradition. Yeah. So it is regulated, but we should we should be very consequent. Give our people priority. But if they do not want, do not wait until they want to come to work because the economy needs to rebuild after Irma. We, we need, that is without any doubt, we need foreign workers, but not to come here to settle here and to take over our facilities and our social um, so, uh, social benefits. That is what I'm, uh, again. You, you just spoke, uh, and, and, and we make some comment just now in the beginning of before the program started about and I, I listened to a lot of uh, candidates talking about economy. And as, as a person that, that, that headed the, 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 the Social Economic Council myself, um, if we create a great economy, we will have less social ills in the society. Uh, in the sense that we will, we will have money to pay for our social issues that we are having. Um, because 
when I hear people saying about all of these social, like the minimum wage yeah. and the old age pension, these things cost money. Yeah. Um, I'm not hearing, hearing nobody saying where they're going to get the money from yeah. to, 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 well, to if pay the extra that you need. If you, if, uh, if, if you listen well, mm -hmm. um, there is a law, the traffic law, that says we have to drive on the right side. Yes. If everyone starts to drive on the left side, it becomes a chaos. Yes. We have a law saying the price index is there yeah. to get the, the minimum wage or the wages for the pensioners yeah. um, high up. Yeah. But you have to execute it and yeah. it is part of the asset fee. Yeah. Do not forget the money of the asset fee and please be realistic. The money of the asset fee is already spent four times. There is no money anymore by yeah. the asset fee because yeah. they want to invest in the, in the new hospital, yeah. they want to invest in the airport and they need them to invest here, to invest there, but they do not invest in the, the people minimum wage yeah. and uh, the, um, the wage for the, for the pensioners. Yeah. So, um, I, 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 I hear uh, parliamentarians uh, claiming now that we have to rebuild 1,000, 2,000 houses. And they say, we get the money from the pension funds and from the asset fee. But there is no money more. Mm. The money from the asset fee is gone. It's three times given out already for... Um, uh, what I tell you, uh, the the airport and for the hospital. Who are going to pay for the hospital? Don't make yourself a fool. If I have $10 in my pocket and I have to go home and I have to pay uh, $10 for the taxi, I cannot buy a snack anymore. It is over. That is the most realistic approach. Yeah. You only can spend the money one time. And if people at this moment in a campaign say, oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're going to have uh, two more this and two more does and we take the money from the asset fee be realistic because the asset fee has no money anymore and if the asset fee has money they should get they should give it to them who need it at most that's those people who pay for it the pay the workers pay for the ROV and yeah. for the ROV and make sure they get a nice old day with a nice pension but we we do not execute it uh, you uh, said you said that very clearly, and, and and it's very understandable for the viewers and listeners to, to for your to your explanation. One of the things then that uh, we are having issues that is 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 is, is really um, the whole issue of the justice, the the prison, the organization of the prison. W you know what you as a candidate tomorrow in parliament or tomorrow as a member of parliament yeah. how you will, will 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 have this legislate and and solve yeah 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 um first of all um you have to come with an opinion that is out of the box if um if you have four hundred thousand uh, or forty thousand people living here the question should be should you need a prison like point bonge with 130 seats and 16 for the women. The history learns if we have them, we fill them. Oh, okay. So we 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 kind of fill in those 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 those. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, um, the Point Blanche is like a hotel management. You yeah. have uh, so much cells, uh, so much rooms, and you can have so much people in there. And every uh, hotel owner, hotel uh, manager wants to have yeah. as much as possible. Uh, occupied for his hotel so everyone who is managing the prison and that is uh, part of it is the police the public prosecutor not so much the judges because they are they are not involved in that yeah. they want to have uh, places to lock people up but you should think twice you should think twice why you should lock people up uh, talk to me. I'm 70 years old. I'm coming on uh, out of that area, and uh, I came to St. Martin. When I came to St. Martin, 
everyone got locked up for, for even for smoking a joint of marijuana it's a load all over the world it's a load in the penthouse it's a load under the nose from trump but then some matter is not a load so that means if we have a cell we put them in if we don't have a cell we uh, give them an ankle band yeah why you should why you should lock up um, people who let me say um rob the bank n not to rob the bank robbing the bank is a serious uh, is um, is a serious crime lift the bank yeah. for a thousand dollar an employee uh, working at the bank left the bank for a thousand dollar why you should have that person go in jail you okay if for the investigations you have to lock them up to see what's going on but after that you should think twice to lock people up further because the community is not um benefited with having someone locked up the bank only wants to get the money back yeah if i break the the window shield of your car you do not want to see me in point blanche for one year because we all pay for that man who broke your window shield what do you want i want my window shield paint yeah so that's another way of thinking um, in the criminal uh, area about how you go with with with, uh, with punishment and if you have a real uh, fraud case I do not need the people locked up exceptions there mm. but most of the time I confiscate the administration I see what is debit and what I see what is credit and I know what the income and the outcome is and I see if he's money laundering yes or no why should I have him inside I say exceptions um, I, I I leave it outside if it is a criminal organization but if if the Chinese man if the Chinese man on the corner with 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 the bakery store is doing a fraud with the tax do not lock him up let him pay two times what he owes the tax and that's it and if you want to have lock him up we have the ankle bands do not forget in the time that Dennis Richardson was um, the Minister of Justice we had a hype and a good hype a good hype is that we bought I think 25 ankle bands you know ankle bands yeah, yes, yes 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 something yes they work with gps yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and they work with their gps yeah now we bought them but we forgot that you have to pay them when you control them yeah it's like you have your house secured by an organization that is watching the alarm but there is no organization there's no dispatch to watch if you go out, uh, and yes, out. Yeah. but if you spend the money instead of rebuilding the point blanche uh, spend it on uh, other alternative um, punishments and that kind of things i think we are better off and but but because we do it like opa and oma did it and we continue doing it like opa and oma did it because i'm still wondering why we have 15 members in parliament when i came here we have the lieutenant governor nine commissioners and we manage the same uh, crowd of people as we have now why we need 15 uh, seats in parliament because if one if, if if you if you go back to 11 or 9 let's say 9 and unequal then it's easy for the up the na the dp for the for every party to get a majority and you only need an other one other party to get in parliament and make a stable government now you have fractions you have a one bit six and then two from this party two from that party but if one of them uh, go um, go jump the ship the government falls again think twice about it it's not necessary to have 15 except that it uh, takes a lot of money but beside the money you should think about this what is efficient if if your mother has a household to manage with 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 five kids and she will not take a maid to prepare the food everyone has to be in time everyone has to be there and do the dishes and afterwards that is how we do in the in the household and that should be in parliament it's Ms. easy mr marx you have touched something that no one have touched is the amount of of person that required in parliament and effectiveness the efficientness of work because before this election has been called we already been been told uh it was already the news already put outside there 
that Parliament, with the, 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 the amount of population that we have, should be increased to 17. <laughs> what you have just said is, by you doing that now, you're creating more problem. Yeah, yeah. Of what you, with your explanation, if we reach, if we don't legislate it and put it now, listen, Parliament's supposed to be, this is the amount, and let yeah. me work with that. Yeah. We've increased with 17, we're going to create more problem than what we have now with 15. I think so. But you look, yeah, and uh, we have an example. We have 200 police officers, okay? Let's say 200, okay, it could be 250, maybe 300. But we have a certain amount of police officers. If we have 10 ships in, we have 20,000 people yeah, more, more in town. Yes. And do we do not manage that? Yes. Do we need the double from the police officer we have to manage them? It's a kind of management. Yeah, yeah. If you have, if you have, and sometimes we have 10 cruise ships in, every cruise ship have, has uh, uh, 3,000 people. Yeah. 2,000 of them come aboard, uh, come ashore. And 10 times 2,000 is 20,000. Yeah. And we say we have the same amount of customs, the same amount yeah. of police officers, and we manage it. That you're going to be robbed when 10 cruise ships are in. And that, that happens in New York and that happens yeah. everywhere. Be realistic. And why you, why you have this radio station, uh, station with me and you and not 25 people at the back? It's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's me. That's uh, that is that my is revolutionary <laughs> thinking. But that's, that's that is really that, that 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 is uh, also not only but is also you, you when you have management skills you put that to use and it is more effective and, uh, and uh, efficient to the population because uh, what you said here is very true. Yeah. S uh, let me let me give you the example. When I came in two thousand one. Everyone was locked up. There was no possibility to pay off a crime. Then my fantasy, my fantasy went, and how can I create within the law a possibility that not everyone goes in jail? I introduced the conditional dismissal. The conditional dismissal allows me to ask you $500 to pay off the crime what you have done. The $500 I take and I give it to the man whose window was broken. And it worked. It is it's taken over in the new uh, law book also. It works. But use your fantasy. Stop mm. thinking like Opa and Oma. It's 2020. Facebook is not anymore, anymore what it was uh, 10 years ago. It develops. But yeah. we still stay and hold grip on the old-fashioned idea. It's not necessary. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Uh, Mr. Marx, uh, what other issues you see as a candidate now, uh, along being a professional, a legal professional, or a lawyer, what issues you see that are issues that you think that have to be tackled by okay. Parliament? Okay, the first, the first, because I am, okay, I am well educated, I have three degrees at university, but if you have not the ability to speak with the common people, you are worth nothing. nothing. You're just stupid. But, we, we, have, we have a saying, not cutting your grass, we have a saying in Curaçao, yeah. you can have a degree from Leiden or Erasmus, yeah. but if you don't have a degree from the street, I saw I saw one of my fellow lawyers uh, advertising that he speaks four languages and then I said to myself but you should speak the language of the people yes uh, you can speak excellent uh, Spanish yes. and, and and French but if the people have their own lang uh, language do you have to you have to work with that yes I come back to your question one of the issues I would solve by tomorrow if it is possible um, the GB bill. A lot of people suffering from the surcharge at the Z GB bill. How did we get a surcharge on the GB bill? That was at the time when the oil goes up. The oil goes up and then government and GB said, well, we need some extra. But what happened if the oil goes down? Is a surcharge going down then? I never see it that is, it's increasing. Even the oil prices go down. Well, my, in my opinion, we have here um, the wind and the sun. And in Holland they have only wind but no sun. 
But in Holland, they have solar panels subsidized. Yes. You get you get a loan if you want to put the solar panels on your house. And we have the possibility and we do not do nothing with it. That's a shame. But that is for um, that's a shame for this reason because a normal household has to pay two three hundred dollars in GB if you can bring it down to 150 it's a 150 dollars more in the pocket and these people appreciate the 150 dollars in the pocket more than we talking about the 25 million from the international funds to work on the on the airport it, it, it's 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 it's, um, it's not for the people it's 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 a political issue so do you do you believe that uh, this sh surcharge issue supposed uh, have to be tackled as yeah. soon as possible by oh, the yeah, new yeah, parliament yeah. today. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, because there is no, there is no reason. There is no valid reason um, to charge the people for that. Um, let me, let me, let me explain to you because you telling me that you are from Curacao. I tell you something. In Curacao, Saba and Synesthesia, they have the solar panels. Yeah. And um, you have three possibilities with the solar panels. That m means during the day the meter runs back, yeah, and in the night the meter runs um, yeah. um, uh, forward. Yeah. But if you sleep without the air code, then you make your money. Yeah. The other way is you um, you deliver uh, to GB uh, electricity during the day for thirty cents, and in the night you pay uh, thirty two cents for yeah. it. What has Curacao, Seba, and um, and Sinterstasia? They have a, a a system that is more or less equal on the Dutch system. They have no surcharge, but they have taxes on it. Yeah. So in Curacao, they uh, promoted everyone to go on solar, and once everyone was on solar, they came with taxes per solar. Yeah. So per solar panel, you have to pay in Curacao uh, extra tax. So we should take care and learn from um, these countries where they have introduced this that we do not make the same mistake. It's not necessary. Maybe, maybe you should pay a little surcharge because someone has to maintain the meter going forward and going back and that kind of things. But not the surcharge we have now. And the surcharge we have now can be given to all the people who really need it. No big words about 25 million for the harbor, for the, for the, for the airport. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. The airport will be there, even if it takes another four years. It's a shame. It's a really shame that 911, the Twin Towers went down, and two years after, nine, uh, uh, on the place 911, we have a new building and new people living around there. And if you look at our airport now, it's a shame. Ah, that's what I think about it. Um, any other issues um, that you think is very pressing as a candidate also that you will tackle um, being elected as a, a member of parliament tomorrow? One of the issues, and before I go to that, before I go, I go to that, I want to hit this issue here that was uh, um, what we can do to change the mindset of our people and, 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 and our youth and all of them about begging for things to vote for a candidate. Okay. I, 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 that thing, it, it, it is an issue for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, vote buying is an issue all over the world. It's not only in St. Martin. But in St. Martin you can see it and you can feel it because we are so small. Yeah. If in the United States Trump buy some votes in Oklahoma, no one feels it, no yeah. one sees it. But if you go in the district Dutch Quarter with your car, everyone sees, oh, Cormax is there. And everyone knows that bar, okay, let's see what's going on there. What happened to me, and that is really disappointing, not really disappointing because I know it happens, is that a lot of people I approach ask me to pay their GB bill or to pay, um, to pay the, the, the after school bills for the children. But wait a minute, I am not Santa Claus. 
I am a man from parliament and I am not corrupt. I yeah. want to go for your vote and you trust me. And if I am in parliament, I can bring your GB bill down and I can maybe lift up the minimum wages. But do not ask me to pay your, uh, your, uh, your GB bill. Because, you, uh, yes, uh, people ask me and my answer is straightforward. I am not corrupt, but if you have a problem with the GB bill, it's too high, approach me as a lawyer. Because I have two faces now. I am, first of all, a lawyer. Now, yeah. first of all, I'm a father and I'm a grandfather. Let's, let's uh, start with that. Yeah. The other thing is, I'm a lawyer and I am uh, going for parliament. Yeah. And you can approach me with a too high GB bill as a lawyer. And I have free consultations. Come to me and I will help you to see why the GB bill is too high. But do not ask me uh, to pay your GB bill or, or, or something else. I am not in. Maybe there is a reason why I'm going to lose it. But if I lose it, if I'm not in Parliament, I feel satisfied because I'm a fair loser. I, 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 I don't know where, where and, and, and I think on the young party that is coming up, how do they would buy a vote? Where you get the money from? It's only if they have a big company or big supporters behind it. And that is what Trump also has, big money to get there. But it, this, is, this is something is, is horrible. We should root it out our system. Um, <coughs> and, 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 and some people will say uh, it's happening all over. But um, if, you are for, if you are a person that have you know, your principles and, and your integrity and you believe a person should just vote his conscience on what he believes and the, the, the changes that, that he want or if you want to keep things the same thing but you don't believe that people uh, I then believe that people should get rewarded to vote for a candidate okay um, I hear you talking now but you more talk now like a philosopher I'm a lawyer I'm a common sense father and um, a part of the... I c as long as we have the difference between a man and a woman, we have rape cases. Yeah. And we cannot tell here on the radio we have to reduce them. That's a biological given. And as long as you have competition here or there, you have these things. Yeah. But if you want to, if you want to suggest that we have to educate the kids on it, no, the elderly, the kids have nothing to do with it. The elderly should be in, uh, should be aware. And don't do it, and the kids will see it. But also, the parliamentarians should mm. say, I am not corrupt and if you do not want to vote for me because they do not pay your GB bill, leave it. Go to another party and I know where you can where you can get your GB bill done. I'm 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 a perfect loser. I'm a realistic man. Um, I come uh, out of the of the justice. I try to do as much as possible justice um, as I can from my own but this is an issue. Well, but let me say, if you if you say that okay, uh, we have to educate the youngsters on it. What happened with um, Lali Center? What happened with yeah. the Lali Center? We had beautiful ideas. Oh, we have a Lali Center, and we're gonna educate the youngsters. Where is it? Where is the Lali Center? We have no money and no skills, and the Lali Center is down. So tell me how you want to educate the youngsters then. I, I I believe, strongly believe, if a woman say no to a man, it should be no. No concessions. Yes, I believe that also. It's based on faith and trust. Yeah. If you go in Parliament and you have a good salary, work for it. And don't go in Parliament to just sit down, have your have your have your telephone on, and play games on it. That's not what we pay you for. No, Integrity. No. Yeah. Faith uh, and trust. One, you you hit on something very important, and lately we have so much problem, or we have so much problem with the justice chain with the justice management and the justice department and all of that but if you know good <coughs> if you have noticed over the years 
we have not had or have any person as Minister of Justice who is prepared for the job. So we put a lot of people there that, that I, I would say created a more, a more of a mess than, than solved the problem. What do you think the Minister of Justice should be? What, 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 what do you think? Should First of all, the Minister of Justice should have common sense. That's, that is, that's one thing. Um, not in every country, even in Holland, you have the right man on the right place. Yeah. And um, if you do not have someone with an academic degree, like me, it should not depending if you have an academic degree. It depends on how many votes you get. And uh, what I want to say is, um, if I go walking with my dog, my dog is free, but he's on the leash. Yeah. <laughs> that means, that means, if I go shopping with my girlfriend, I walk through the street hand in hand to make sure that she does not run with my credit card in the store. Yeah. It depends on what you, by yourself, have abilities to leash up a minister. It's not the, the minister of justice only, it's the prime minister also. Yeah, yeah. Where, you get, where you get the guts from to be a prime minister with this education. But that is, uh, that, uh, to talk about that, it's, it's not just. It's, it's, um, it's blaming people who are elected um, in, a, in a democratic process and they should be in. But it is not forbidden to have a lawyer next to him. And when the minister thinks, okay, I have to go for this law, um, then the minister should go and seek advice and say, uh, lawyer, what do you think about this law? Should we do it? Should we not do it? Yeah. That is what we sometimes missing, the, the balance. Yes. The yes. balance. But I do not want to blame because we have too many misses also in Holland with people on a certain place. We have uh, ministers <coughs> who, 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 who were paving their own gateway yeah. uh, because they, they were involved in uh, construction company contracts. It, it happens all over the world. So it happens in St. Martin also, but you should see if you have someone next to it. That's why you have a father and a mother. If the father say you are not allowed to go to the disco because you you did not behave, you always have the mother to appeal. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're totally right. Eh? Um, that's why. That's why we always, you know, as kids, always started to work. We always give our mother money, not that's our father. True. That's true. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and and if someone has to die, I hope no one dies, but leave the mother alive. Yes. Because that's the one. Uh, yeah. It's that's the manager. Yes, the always. Yeah. Um, what are the things, um, you know, and and and. Let me. Um, I, I did not finish yeah. with um, uh, the justice. Yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. The other. The other thing maybe is revolutionary. Also, why we do not have our own attorney general. I always ask that question. How, why we do not have our attorney general and our prosecutors uh, moving up every week to Curacao where the attorney general is. Yeah. Does the attorney general from Curacao know the specific problems and priorities we have here? No. Where, if you look at the papers, the, they confiscated about 20, 30, uh, 40 million dollars. Where is that money? Mm. If you have your own attorney general, you can have, make him responsible. You can ask the Minister of Justice to come in Parliament and um, respond on questions from parliamentarians. But no. We, uh, I have never seen our Attorney General. If you have seen him, uh, give me a picture of him. But we never see him, but we get the orders from Curacao. Mm -hmm. Not that Curacao is bad, but Aruba has his own Attorney General. Mm -hmm. And Aruba is living a good life. There is no more crime in Aruba than we have here. But the priorities here and in Aruba is quite different if you see how the communities organized in Aruba with the Attorney General. Do not forget the Attorney General is a very important policy maker uh, for uh, the prison, 
for um, the the fines that um, that should be given for to be locked up or not locked up to let you go out uh, earlier and so on that's the attorney general but I, I i don't know how i reach the attorney general he's in curacao so you suggesting that it should be something that is a uh, new parliament or new new government that sits yeah. consider yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. that's a that in my in my opinion is a priority. It's a priority. You have your father and your mother here, and uh, if people got locked up, like like we have a Corallo, a Corallo was forced to go to Curacao because it in Curacao maybe they have better facilities. But I do not want to leave my family. I am living here, and I want to see my family around here. And the people I trust, I want to have them around me. Yeah. So that means I want to have my own attorney general. And if something happens, he can correct the, uh, the public prosecutor, the police, and he's responsible to parliament. Yeah. Okay. That's I never, I never, I never heard that. That's that, not that, a thing. Yes, I never heard. No one came <laughs> with this. You are the first, <laughs> and you, you, you are not only the first. Your arguments about it is it is very, very, very yeah. understandable. Yeah. And uh, I hope any the new minister and the new parliament will consider this information very seriously. Yeah. And if you are in Parliament tomorrow, then you will push it personally. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to help them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other point that you think is very important that you would like to, to see uh, as a member of Parliament tomorrow in our new Parliament 2020-2024? Well, let's going to have a fair um, election. That is uh, my first thing. Do not blame each other in the street with uh, words you use mm. and use them in the wrong way. I have told you my priorities are the pensioners, yeah. are the GB, and um, the consumer rights. That is one aspect we did not talk about, the yeah. consumer rights and the justice department. I explained myself very well and I stay with it. And I stay really behind what I what I spoke about here on the microphone. Everyone can hear it. But you, you, you just hit it. We still have a couple of minutes. What can we do? Uh, I remember my days in the chamber when we have all of these complaints coming in from tourists and from buyers. What can we do to strengthen consumer rights? Or, as you as a lawyer, what, what can we do with that in that area? We have law to protect the consumer rights. We call it the black page mm -hmm. and the gray page. But most of the stores here... Uh, maintain the American system. Let me tell you, if you buy a printer and the printer does not work, they tell you, okay, bring the printer and we send it to America. Wait, 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 wait. You, you sold me the printer. Yeah. You are responsible. I do not bring it to you. You come and pick it up by me. Yeah. That is my biggest concern as a lawyer. We have, for instance, 40% of the uh, community is single mothers. Most of them buy from the last money a TV before Christmas. They want to see the Christmas carol yeah. with the kids. And what happens? The TV is not working. And if they call, they say, no warranty, no warranty. Warranty only till the door. But that is because they have, they have their own warranty rules on the back of the invoice. But let me be very clear. If you have a problem with that, come to me, come to see me on the free consultation. I am fighting for that and I'm fighting for that with the consumers platform and with the poverty platform. They bring me the clients who have felt injustice in that way. And I'm going to win the cases, that's for sure, because mm. we have the rules and regulations. Only the people have to be aware that they have more rights as they think um, they should have. We are, in that way, we are blessed. And we should have, uh, take care of those people who cannot afford it. But, 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 but why <coughs> to get rid of those gray areas? So why we don't legislate it, make it uh, so clear 
that the business community knows these are the rules to play y on. Them. Yeah, yeah. You have um, uh, three ways of in a, a democracy how how it goes. You have parliament that makes the law, yeah. and then you have the ministers who execute it, and yeah. you have the judge who is looking at it when something happens. Yeah. We have the black and the gray list in our book, but it's like people complaining about the high rent because the rental committee is not working. We have a rental committee, but if the people are not aware that they as a tenant also can <laughs> go there, I am my practice see most of the people who go to the to the um, um, to the rental board are owners of a property, the landlords. Yes. But the common people do not go and they have the right and the um, and, and, and the rent board is there to tell them, okay but my price is too high. What are we going to do? And they will give a decision. And if you do not agree with that decision, you can go to the court. We have the rules and the regulations, but people are not really aware of it. That's why I have, uh, I'm the only lawyer in the, on the island, a free consultation. I want to help people in that way. And I don't, I don't need to get paid for it. Because I love it, and I know where I come from. I come from the people who had to suffer and uh, who had to survive in life. I'm, yeah. I'm a child from just just a few years after the Second World War. So you know what hardship is. I know. And sometimes look back if someone needs a hand and move forward. Yeah. Um, one of the things um, that I look at and we did not talk about it and, and having a person of your caliber with the microphone you have to you know make use opportunity to 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 get all the best um, information you want and and it's also for you to inform one of the things then that we keep pondering and and and, and it was a problem all these years is if it's it's possible what you will do as a member of parliament tomorrow about ship jumping Oh yeah, chip jumping is uh, is something difficult. Chip jumping, um, you have uh, I have to explain that to the people because um, chip jumping is you sign a contract that you are member of the party, and you sign the contract that you uh, will share the ideas from the platform. That's yeah. what I started my my interview with to explain that. But there is no law. That would be chip something, not in the whole world. I know that. So if your conscience tells you, I cannot work anymore with that party, well, then you do not, then you do not break the law. You break your conscience. Yeah. You 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 break your ethical issue that you have confirmed. I agree with the platform, but if I do not get what I want, I jump ship. That's yeah. not fair. Yeah. You have like a marriage. Uh, you have to make compromises. Uh, not every marriage go uh, well. No. Sometimes there's a fight, but most of the time um, you have to make compromises, even um, to stay together or not. If you have kids, you have a reason to stay together. Is it just before of the kids? No, definitely. So definitely. The same thing, if I could, if I could regulate it in Parliament, um, I will have a look at it because I, I am. Uh, I have been approached with that question for by several people, but from my opinion, it's more an ethical thing than it is a legal issue. But let me have a look at it. I I, I can find out if it is wrong. But it happened recently by the cabinet from uh, Rutte. Also. Yeah, yes, yes. He lost the majority. Yeah. Because of Jeep jumping. Yeah, and, and but government then went home. Yeah. You know, and and that's the issue that you was talking about etiquette. Yeah. And, and principle the and principle. integrity, yeah. you, you know, it's, and, and I think that is what we should have when we're going serving the people in parliament. Yeah. And not you or anyone, but that is everyone that's been chosen on the 9th of, 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 of no, I January can, should do have that. I can promise you I have my free consultation now. I introduced the free consultation when I was a prosecutor because I felt that the people in those days were afraid of the prosecutor. And I, I was wondering why, because the prosecutor is the backbone of the community and why you should be afraid for someone who should support you. So I opened the free consultation and every Thursday, 20, 30 people in a row in the heat sun come and to 
see me. Some yeah. people just came in to hug me and uh, yeah. and and, and um, show how thankful, grateful that some people told me that I had a dream that I was sent by God to St. Martin. Don't, don't, don't say that. I, I just do my best for you, for everyone. Yeah. But people feel it like that. People feel, okay, um, the, 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 the ivory tower is open now. We have some ivory towers, so here and there should be open. And I am 70 years old, and I'm living in 2012. It means if I do not continue living with the modern system, I am old-fashioned. Yes. I am old-fashioned. Then I sit down, oh, in my days we do not have this, and in my days we have not that. In my days we have the same things. The, 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 the problems we have on the French side, we also had in the Vietnam War. All over the world, people started demonstrating. It's not new. And the French have experience when Louis XV, the king, yeah. was, 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 was blaming them and, and uh, squeezing them. The French go. The French have a, have a, have a patent on it. And do not forget, the 4th of July is the Bastille. The French have something. And we on the Dutch side, I sometimes think we talk too much. <laughs> do you, do you, in one of your, in your closing now, and before you, you, you say your closing, um, you said just now that people came in and they hug you and, and, and give, yeah. you know, and really um, f they felt good what you have done. Do you think that all of that love is what, that kept you here and today that you want to give back to the community because you have made this. You have made this place your home. This yeah, is yeah. your home. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, there's an attraction between the island and you. Yeah. You know that nobody can explain. You even can explain it. We we come to a place. We just love it, and it, we become a home. And you feel now that you should give back to the community. And if you could better the life of people in the community, you I, want to you do know, it in Parliament. But I, you're already doing it by giving your free services to yeah, the community. I hear some businessmen they're giving back to the uh, community. If you give back, you have uh, taken something from the community. I do not take anything. Yeah. I, I want to serve the community in a proper way. I have that's that's the right back. word, yes, sir. I have nothing uh, nothing to give back. Yeah. But uh, when I came here and when I when I left the island and I went um, attorney general in The Hague, that's a high position, I was on the 12th floor of that building. Don't see anybody, a heap of cases at 9 o'clock on the left side, and it should be done at 5 o'clock on this side. It is boring. Now here, you have a case, and you sit with the people, and uh, one say, Oh, my father, my niece, and uh, the 200 years ago, they had the same case, and they put the stone there, and that piece of land is from us, because you see his fingers on the stone still there, and so on. That is St. Martin. St. Yeah. Martin lives. You, do, you should not believe everything yeah. and you should bring the people back to earth. But if you are living in Holland as an attorney general, you are in the ivory, uh, uh, ivory tower again. You have a pass, a security pass. You get, uh, you, you, you get checked out before you go in, in the building. We don't have that. We had some checks out um, in the courthouse, but we as a lawyer told the judges, we do not want to be checked out. We are a free country. And if someone tells a judge, when you get 20 or 25 years, oh, I do not agree. That's common sense. I would even not agree with it. Mm -hmm. But do not feel harassed if a person is not agreeing with the sentence he gets. Give him the possibility to cry, grieve and mourning because it's 25 years you take from his life. And he has the right to tell what he should have done in a, in a, but that is what we are. We always think that people should come in a long pant, not with slippers and, 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 and uh, not with an open shirt to the court. Uh, I, I am against it. The court is there for the people. I remember when I was a young prosecutor in the 80s in Holland, the farmers came in the overall on the wooden shoes to the court. So we t 2020 now, did we not learn anything from that time? In those days they're welcome, now they're not welcome anymore. You have to go home and you have to buy a pair of shoes, you have to buy a proper pant. It's nonsense, has yeah. nothing to do with, judge, with, with, with justice.
Yeah. I'm a man who have some breaking ideas. That's true. But yeah. I can I can tell you why I from my experience. In closing, Mr. Karl Marx, candidate number 18 on the up list. Um, what do you have to say f to the voters who are listening outside in there to you who did not make up their mind who to vote for but have just listened to you? What do you have? What message you have to that particular person? Okay. Um, I will tell you, do not let your head fooling around with uh, some promises that um, some people give you in the voting time. Be realistic and be in terror because if you get paid your GB bill now this month by next month you don't see the parliamentary anymore <laughs> because it is just a luck just 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 a quick and a and and a, and a five minute pleasure and be aware of it be in terror and vote for them who have stolen your heart with that mr Karl Marx, candidate number 18 of the up list we hereby thank you sincerely, and I sincerely um, look forward to uh, seeing you in, in, in as one of the new chosen uh, elected candidates for parliament because we do need people of your uh, standard and knowledge to help upgrade our parliament. Thank you so much, and um, thank you to the listeners that you took the time and the patience, especially the patience, to listen to me. And here again, um, this is uh, 98.1, the morning show with Elton Jones, who I'm sitting in for. This is Arthur Blue speaking. Um, I just had uh, Mr. Carmax, and we had a pleasant hour with him. Uh, we could have gone on for more, but we have more um, person. Mr. Carmax, thank you very much, and um, back to the operator.